Yeah, one Latino parent asked the sheriff if the rumors were true about roadblocks scheduled for tomorrow morning. That parent said that many in the community are fearful of taking their kids to school, believing that another ICE raid may be in the works. The sheriff told that parent he's not aware of any roadblocks for tomorrow morning. The Latino community clearly made an effort today to reach out to the sheriff. Small children delivering Valentine's Day cards to Danny Rogers in an effort to show their support. A spokesman for the Latino community says while they are hopeful of the sheriff's support, they say his position on ICE is not clear. Other newly elected African-American sheriffs around the state have already dropped their partnership with ICE. Uh, could you tell us what is the relationship between your department and ICE right now? <laughs> I like to believe that our relationship with ICE uh, is, is still good. Sheriff Rogers says his jail will hold undocumented immigrants only if an order is signed by a federal judge, but adds his department will not detain anyone unless they break the law. You don't have a 287G relationship, but you do have a detention relationship. I have a detention relationship, yes, not sir. But not a 287G. Not a 287G. I have a detention relationship. Others have dropped, dropped their detention. You've seen that. Uh, well, in the bigger I have counties. A deten my detention relationship is with making sure that we hold people that breaks the law, that violate the law, whether they documented, documented or undocumented. Sheriff Rogers says he holds the same position on ICE today that he held back on the campaign trail. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.